Hey everyone, welcome back to Sid's Art. This is another isometry video using Inkscape. If you haven't seen my previous tutorials, make sure you see them first. In the last video, I gave you a challenge to draw a cylinder using SSR method. So in this video, I will show you how to do that. So first start by making a perfect circle for that press and hold control key on your keyboard and draw a perfect circle like this. Now go to object and click transform. In this tab, uh, we are going to use all the measurements which I showed you in the last video. So first step is to scale this circle by 86.602% of its height. So type that number and click apply. Now before uh, we proceed, I'm going to duplicate this because I'm going to need this later on. Now select the circle and skew it in either direction because we are going to make the top view first. So type 30 or minus 30 and then you have to rotate in the same direction. So I will type 30 again and click apply. Now next step is that make sure you turn on the snaps or uh, snap and items rotation center and bring a horizontal guideline and snap it to the center of this ellipse. I'm just going to duplicate this ellipse one more time and bring another guideline and snap it to the center. Next uh, click on the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Now select the ellipse and copy its width and paste it in the width of the rectangle. Now snap it to the one of the guidelines and align ellipse and rectangle vertically. Now increase height of the rectangle such that it snaps to the bottom guideline and then press or select the bottom ellipse and press D on the keyboard so you can get a dropper and just copy the color of the rectangle and finally select this ellipse and raise it to the top now we can delete these guidelines and here we have our rectangle in the top view. Next, we are going to make the left plane view of the cylinder for that select the circle. Now, in this case, I have already scaled it down, so I'm not going to do any more scaling. Now, go to the skew tab. Since we are making the left plane, we have to skew this horizontally in the left direction, which is positive 30. So type positive 30 and click up apply. Now we have to rotate it in the opposite direction. So that would be clockwise and that's why I type minus 30 and click apply. Now we need to make a line that passes through the center of this ellipse. So if you have seen my isometry uh, 101 video, then a line passing through the center. Let's pretend that this is passing through the center. Then this angle would be 30 degree because this ellipse is in left plane so if this is 30 then the remaining angle is 60 so we have to create a line that's uh, a line or uh, angle at 60 degree clockwise so for that select the bezier tool and make a line Now click on the line once again so you can get the rotation handles. Now press control key on the keyboard and rotate this line in the steps of 15 degrees. So that would be four times. So one, two, three and four. So now we have a line that's angled at 60 degree. Now I'm going to align it to the object center. Now I'm going to duplicate this ellipse, so press control key on the keyboard and duplicate this again. Now we need another reference line that's angled at 30 degrees because uh, that would be the angle of the line connecting this ellipse to this ellipse. 
so once again create a line using bezier tool and press and hold ctrl key on the keyboard and rotate it in anti-clockwise direction by 30 degree so one and two now i have tried snapping this to the intersection of this two but it's not gonna work because this object is not a path so what you can do is just zoom in a lot and zoom in a lot and then just do this manually such that it barely touches the ellipse now do the same for this one now select this line and duplicate this again and repeat the process for the bottom now select this line and duplicate this and snap it to the center of this ellipse now you can see we have a rectangle so all we have to do is select the bezier pen and draw a rectangle okay first uh, turn on the snap to path intersections so we can snap it perfectly at the corners And here we have our rectangle so we can delete this uh, guidelines select the rectangle press D on the keyboard and you can give it this color select this ellipse and also give it the same color now our rectangle has some strokes so i'm just going to remove this and then bring this ellipse to the top and here we have our left view of the cylinder now i'm not going to repeat the same process again for the right plane because it's just going to be the same thing so i'm just going to select this and press ctrl d and flip it horizontally and here we have our right view so this is how you make a cylinder in all three planes using SSR method so hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned and subscribe because I'm gonna make a lot of videos using Inkscape so have a nice day and see you soon